call the regular council meeting to order on October 18th, 2016. Additions to the agenda, Sid Arpin, Bill Edward Kelch. Yes. <laughs> Citizens comments, you don't have any. And how about Tom? Okay, how about Tom? That's great. Dear God, we thank you for the city of St. John. We ask that you would give wisdom to those in attendance this evening to hear and respond with your direction. We ask for you to help the elected officials to discern what is best for our community. Keep our hearts safe during this time as we seek to help the community of St. John move forward in becoming a better, safer place to live and work and worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Tom. Approve the consent agenda. Mm -hmm. Approve the minutes of the regular council meeting of October 4th, 2016. Appropriation ordinance 1010 of 2016 for $5,035. Approved ordinance 1012 of 2016 for $20,724.10. Approved ordinance 1018 2016 for $32,156.08. Uh, approval of the Mayor's Burn Proclamation for Open Burning, October 19th, running through November 30th. Mike's not here. Yeah, I already checked with him. He, he said, said it was fine. Okay. okay. <clears throat> yeah. Approval of invoice overspending limit, protective equipment, testing laboratory for annual testing of electric trucks and rubber gloves, rubber goods. So moved. Second. Moved and second. All in favor? All opposed? All right. Four to zero. <clears throat> okay, Sid. Here just to wrap up final documents on the uh, sidewalk improvement. Um, this would be the city set of what's called as built plans, so that would be your record set showing yeah. any changes that took place from the bid set. Uh, final pay request and contractor's affidavit and release the final estimate from charity have all been processed. The administrators that all their payroll certifications are, are in, so mm -hmm. basically it releases the, uh, the city to go ahead and close the project out. Yep, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. If there's any other comments or questions about it? Okay. On uh, additions to the agenda, was that on there again? No, no Bill Edward Couch. Oh. Marsh, Marsh, Do we? Well, the one driveway on First Street. Yes, that we we discussed. discussed last time. He's complaining about it again, wanting the city to fix it. Does that? Will that bother or affect anything as far as if we <coughs> decide to go back and fix it? Well, it won't be part of the project. Um, you won't be getting any CDBG funds. You basically used up all their funds anyway, right. so it wouldn't be anything to get. So right. it would be city at large. So it, it's not going to affect anything with the completion no. of that if so we decide to fix it for it. No, it would just be a city right away. If you want to tear out and make it flatter or whatever, you could do that. And okay. Now, this, either the city could do it or you could. Uh, we had a price for Mansell to do it right. as well. Right. Right. <clears throat> but it, it would, it would, you'd want to keep it separate from, you know, close this out and then. Right. Uh, that's why I didn't know if it made any difference on this part of it or not. Yeah, if you still had funds in it, then we could probably incorporate it as a as a right cost sharing with the state, but since they won't share any cost, okay, might be easiest for the city to do it outside the project. My, my only thought was that if there is a problem that has to be fixed, the engineer should probably be the one that fixes it. Would you think? If we hired an engineer, and it's an engineered project, and the engineer okayed the project, and now there's a problem. Nine hundred dollars. It wouldn't be on the city, though. Well, yeah, because you guys had already agreed not to fix it last yeah, time. At the last meeting, at, mm -hmm. it was on September. September 6th, you guys decided that you were going to leave it as is? Yeah, we, we had since, put together some information yeah. and showed that it potentially wasn't much worse than what it, what it was before as far as the steepness of it, but now it's concrete. So right. I believe before you didn't have a problem going up 
dirt or gravel, but now there's concrete. I don't know, is this issue that he bottoms out or does he? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he drags yeah. coming in so, and out. So, you know, dragging on gravel isn't the same as dragging on, right. dragging on concrete. Uh, if the fix, again, is, it's a $900 fix, uh, uh, I, I don't mind taking some of the blame on that. We, we could have made it so that it would have been, uh, would have been, uh, you know, stretched out longer, go to the, go to the street. Um, quite frankly, it would have cost the city more to do it that way. Uh, I don't know, if, if we paid half of it, would that be satisfactory to the city? And, and basically, you'd be paying the same as you would have had it been done right the first place then. Had it been done, I say right, more acceptable to the property. Right. Yeah. I don't know if you want to look yeah. at that. I think, I think it needs to be fixed. I think it needs to be fixed. Yeah, I if mean, it, yeah, if it's a percent or two it upgrade more than what it was, it definitely needs to be fixed. <clears throat> and, and quite frankly, again, I'll, I can identify what it would have cost the city to have had it, what we're talking about in the first place, yeah. and then pay the difference because the contractor is going to charge more now because he's got to tear, tear out what he built. But, uh, you know, if it would have been 20 square yards to begin with and we only put in three, you know, if you would have paid the difference, we'll take up. We'll, we'll cover whatever cost of, over and above that would be. And, and uh, just work it out with Mansell to do that. Yeah, I'd just soon have him do it. He's done the rest of it, so he can just I mean, we can go back in and do it. Yeah. I, I don't have that number now, but I can sure present it to you for, for your you know, review and approval. Mm -hmm. Do we want to go ahead and do that now or wait for that's all a, that? Or? That's up to you guys. Yours? Yeah. No, that's mine. Okay. Yeah. What would be best on it? Um, no, because we're going to have to approve the price of it, aren't we? You are. So it might be better to have, if you could have it by next council meeting, we can have all the bids and everything in here. Then you guys can kind of just see what it is and split it out and see it and have. Oh, that $900 isn't accurate enough? Well, I don't know. It, it was it was uh, agreed upon today. Okay. I, I checked with them today and it's still good. Yeah. It's still a good. The nine hundred. Yeah. 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 <coughs> like four fifty. We were I, I'll just sit down here and I'll actually figure out what the difference would be and I've got the information. I'm Perfect. Got that. Yeah, you set. sure can. No, nope, that that oh, yep. That was one of what we did. I'll let you know before I leave. Okay. Okay. And then that then we'll just add them on to. Yeah, we'll just fix okay. it there. Okay. Grocery store task force report. Nobody here for that. <laughs> Grant administrator. Grants are slow coming out this year. I don't know if it's the election or the economy. Um, we talked about the tennis court at one time. I don't know if that's something that interests any of you. The one down by Brown Park. The school's interested in upgrading theirs. It has a lot of cracks in it. I don't know if you've been up to Brown Park, but it's not a very good tennis court anymore. Um, there's a USTA application we could apply for, and they have to invite you to um, apply for their grant. We have to get somebody to come out and tell us how much it's going to cost to either resurface or replace. They'll pay $20,000 if you replace, which they say is 50%. I'm not convinced it would be. And 10000 if you resurface. Um, so if you'd like to move forward with that and see if we get an invite for application. I'll be happy to do that. And if you don't want to look at that right now, that's fine too. I think we need to look at it. We don't even have tennis meets here now, will they, because they're so bad? They're, they're bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty bad over there. I've seen it. Yeah, I would have a, I would be opposed to go ahead and be looking into it. Okay. Right, that's what I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I agree. Look yeah. 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 yeah, please do that. Police report, no one's here. Fire report, no one's here. <laughs> City clerk. Um, in your guys' packet, a while ago, you guys, we had talked about the pay plan that the city had. So in your packet, that is kind of like an updated version of it. Um, I took it from a, a previous city and just kind of made the adjustments that we were liking on it. So I just kind of need to see if, if you guys approve of it, if this is something that you guys want me to continue with. I, I didn't have a time to do all the descriptions of all the jobs, partly because I think you guys might want to restructure some of the jobs 
maybe not the office jobs, but especially like the ones underneath Jeff. Um, I would pretty much, if it was my suggestion, I would pretty much see you guys to going towards like a public utility supervisor, and then you would have like your two linemen or whatever underneath there, and then you have a public's works, and then you have public workers underneath there. Even though they're still getting paid, like you can still pay them out of the street department, you can still pay them out of the sewer, you can still pay them out of all that, but to actually define them as a sewer worker anymore is kind of unrealistic because they, they do more than just work on the sewers. Um, Nick does more than just works on, on the lines. So I had suggested that in there. That's another reason why I didn't have the description. So um, I was just kind of seeing if you guys liked it. If you like it, then we go ahead. And then what we would have to do is pass a, an ordinance and a resolution to adopt it. Well, the, uh, um, the pay table that you had in, mm -hmm. in the uh, packet, uh, that's current up to date. That's current up to date. What I did is I, I took what that city did, and then I took what our guys were, where we were kind of getting paid at, and I kind of fit them, like kind of in the, in the middle. That's how I. The biggest change is probably the fairness of how you. Give raises. Give, give raises. raises. Okay. Correct. The questions that you give, you know, the way that you figure them, it was just a way better deal than what we had in the past. Yeah. Yeah. I think what we had in the past was kind of just pulling the number out of blue sky and well, what we feel like. The one need. from the one from KMU wasn't it wasn't so much that as it was the fact that you about had to have an outstanding evaluation and get any kind of raise yeah. at all. Yeah, and then you have to the person like the city clerk has to stay up to date with whatever is getting the private markets getting paid, what other cities are getting paid, because it all factors in to to what we what we should be getting paid. So it all averages out. And the closer you get to that average, the less raise you get. So for someone like Jeff that has worked for the city multiple years, he's probably already at that average. So to only give him like 10 cents or a quarter doesn't really seem fair to turn around and give someone that just started a year ago, you're going to end up giving them maybe a dollar because they're not getting paid close to that average. Where this actually breaks it to a percentage, you get so many points. If you get the low end, it's like 1%, then it's 1.5%, then it's 2%, and I think outstanding is like 3%. Once they meet the, the <coughs> max in their table, then their supervisor can still give them a raise, but they would have to come here and say, hey, you know, they're at their max. I want to still give them a 1% raise. Is that okay? Um, but they wouldn't have to do that unless they had meet the max. That's pretty much the difference in the, in the two. We do have several employees that are due for their evaluation. With Jeff and I, we were just kind of waiting to see what you guys kind of said here. Um, <coughs> I don't want to do this and then that make them feel like they were they got missed out on a better opportunity for a better raise. So we've been kind of just holding them off to see what you guys had thought on it. So you want to work on that some more though? Well I can't that's pretty much done except for the descriptions yeah, and saying. And like, if you guys really want like a public utility supervisor, and if you want like a public work supervisor, then what you guys would have to do is, and I'm not sure if we can do that in open or if we have to do that in executive, but then you guys would have to structure your people that way. You would have to decide, okay, you're no longer going to be an electrical supervisor. We're going to make you the public utility supervisor, or you're no longer a waste management person. We're going to make you the the public's work supervisor. I mean, that you guys would still have to decide. This is pretty much ready to go, except for the descriptions. Does that answer your question? I'll throw like a suggestion about whether to do anything this week. Is your mayor hires with the consent of council. My suggestion would be to let Bobby be here before you adopt a new face. Maybe even have our other council seat filled. That's fine. I'm okay with it. But I will say you guys were pretty much were out of date. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's yeah. pretty okay. I would just put it on for next meeting. Okay. And 
see if you can put the other. Yeah, I can get the descriptions in there. If you guys, if you guys like the whole splitting it that way, like public utilities, public works, I mean, I can work up a description for it, and then the public maintenance. Set up that way anyway. It it is, but see, you have people classified like you have you have a street foreman, which that's a totally different description than like the public works make the public works supervisor. But he even actually does most some of the job as a public works supervisor. So really, in my eyes, he, he should be classified as the public works supervisor and not a street foreman. Or you have, yeah. I don't know if the title makes any difference. It, it does when you start to hire somebody, it does. Because when you go to do a job application or a job interview, you're going out to hire a street foreman. You're not going to go out and hire a public utility or a public work supervisor. You're going to put the description for a street foreman. You're going to get people as a street foreman. You do the public works, you get water, waste, water, Correct. street, and parks, and all of it. It, it just it open. It doesn't make it so narrow that your pool's really narrow. It broadens I guess I'm okay it more. With that, then, yeah, it looks like a good system to me. I just want to be a twelve. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah, okay. Change it. And, uh -huh. and okay. And then I'll have it ready for next. Okay. Oh, well, for yeah. Thank you. Okay. The only thing I have, really, I guess, is probably <laughs> this is laying in front of me, but I would wait till the end of the meeting and ask for a 10 minute executive session. They would like to have an answer on this this week, but this is something that really cannot go out in the public the numbers that are on these pages. We've had the opportunity to purchase um, a half a megawatt of wind energy through uh, Midwest Energy out of the new generation plant at Kingman. Um, Midwest Energy bought 57 megawatts out of 200. They're keeping 50 for themselves. They've offered seven to the different communities that they have contracts with. It's a very lucrative contract, but um, it needs to be discussed privately. We can do that. Okay. Baby, can, can I just, I mean, I'm assuming there's an exemption for financial affairs related to a corporation. Is, is that what you're talking about? The numbers that are in here are not for, to go out in the public. I was asked not to let them out to the public. These are wholesale costs uh, pertaining to the city's uh, contract that the city has now. And these are, um, they just asked that we didn't put them out in the public. The decision makes no difference one way or the other. As far as I'm concerned, it's only a half a megawatt. But, um, you know, if we're, if I can't discuss it in private, then we just won't do it at all. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stand behind what Aaron Romy from Midwest Energy asked me to do. So, um, if we can't do it that way, then. We just won't do it. I'm not going to betray his trust. That decision is Friday. Must so be done by the end of the week. It says by the end of the week. <coughs> the contracts are going to open for everybody outside of the cities after Friday. <clears throat> it's not a matter of yes or no. It's a matter of the prices that are on the paper. Because there are some third parties out that are looking to invest in this. And but, but which is indicates financial information provided to the city related to financial information they can And I think you're you're okay for an open meeting, or I'm sorry, an executive session related to financial affairs mm -hmm. of a corporation. We just would need to also a motion to amend the agenda. Yes, right. please. If we do it, the price will be public. You know, it's a uh, meeting or a vote, right? But we can't make a decision. That's what I mean. No. If, we, if we do it, we I mean, all you. It. I think all you do is accept the contract. You don't have to disclose the cost involved. You just accept or, or reject the contract is all. I mean, it can be discussed in executive session, I guess, but then the contract becomes... But then, but then right. when you come back out, then all you have to do is either accept or reject the contract. And it can stay private the way he's asked for it to be. Mm -hmm. You want to do that first, or you want to do maximum? 
or annex. Well, let's just take care of it. But well, I, I need someone to yeah, move to it. But by uh, by accepting the contract, doesn't all the information become public at some point? Um, only if our wholesale contract is public, and I'm not sure it is. I just want to make sure that we're doing. Yeah. Every yeah. Day, okay? I understand that. I I just I don't know how far that goes. Okay. I mean. These contracts are filed with the KCC, so I assume sooner or later they would be. Yeah. You know, if you go through the right channels, that yeah, it would be public. Okay. I mean, if somebody wanted, if somebody out in the public in the community wanted to find this information, they would, would have access to it at some point. I would discuss that with the people I purchased it from before I would let them have it. Because they're only taking just basically just a little over twenty five percent. Let's going let's on just do it. Real quick, and then review the statute before we get into something okay. else. So, city so attorney. So, are we going to add it to the agenda or not? We'll have to, but we don't need to make that motion now. Okay. The only thing that I I have is I sent a packet regarding annexation, and, and really what I need you guys to do is to have that east side of the highway surveyed and my suggestion is from 40 to 30 and just do that entire east side east, well you're going to go from the center lane right to the the property line the property line the entire right away and you can do that because you guys already have the other side is already see the property but i need that so that i can you're going to have to annex the right of way plus the gas station at the same right. time and since We've got, or we'll have consent of the gas station. We can do it that way in one step, as opposed to doing it in two steps. So we need to. We have no clue what it's going to cost to do that, do we? Guess it don't matter. <laughs> Seven hundred to thousand dollars is my guess. Do we need anything else surveyed in St. John while <laughs> they're here? <laughs> there was discussion. Unless they would have been axemen. Unless you're going to do axemen, he's. Well, I mean, I'm sure it'd be cheaper to do everything at one time rather than... You're going to come off the same pin probably one way or the other. You're right. Yeah. Um, how long does it take to do all this so that we're still January 1 having this done? So We'll be close if we can get the survey done. So we need to make done, a decision so tonight get, to survey everything. If I can get the resolution done as soon as possible, that starts the, the clock taking out six days. How long does it take them to do the survey? Not very long. long. Afternoon. I can call him and have him down here probably this week or first part of next week. Because yes. how busy he is. I guess I'd make a motion to have Axman's land and that east side of 281 survey. Second. I have a motion and a second to have that all surveyed. All in favor? All opposed? Four zero. Axman's land donation and sidewalk project. Well, that's pretty much what we had to do was decide if you guys were going to survey it. So okay. I think, right? That was pretty much what we were done. It, yeah, we, it was tight. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah I, just I don't know if you guys can decide anything else without having it surveyed. No. Okay. So. What about the sewer line on 281? Um, that was, Bobby asked me to put it on the agenda. And, and then he told me he wasn't coming today. So I, I he, mean, wouldn't, he wouldn't tell any of us what it was about. And he, he wouldn't just tell any himself. of us what it's about. But it had to do with something with Dollar General and the fact that the sewer line should have been put in then when Dollar General got in, something like that. But I don't know if. I think if they you get guys an extension know more. up behind there or something. Yeah. I had a citizen that that was interested in ex put an extension from LJ and J's lip pump, lip mm -hmm. pump mm -hmm. straight behind all those properties, straight to the west. Well, Chalk, Jimmy Green, to, to the North Street. Mm -hmm. The city, the only easement we have through there is a pole easement. Um, it's not, I mean, there would be some adjusting into it, but. There wouldn't be. I mean, there's enough. There's enough drop there, but about whatever needs to go in there. 
Yeah, he was willing we, to give we, you the easement. We might have, yeah, I was going to say we might have to acquire another easement, but the, the lift station can sure stand it. I mean, it won't hurt it any. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I think he wanted to talk to you about it. But it would probably be something that would have to be engineered. I wanted to. Because it'd have to have manholes and mm -hmm. that stuff, you know, and that stuff really yeah. a little out of our league. Oh, no. for that I have faith in you. That's a little out of our league. <laughs> <laughs> They're all straight line. Yeah, it's not hard to do. Okay, what? Back to Sid? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And looking at what what that entrance would have been initially from the size that we're talking about replacing it with, uh, it would have cost around uh, $415 additional. So basically, It'd be a 500 400 split. We'll pay 500 be 400 more for the city. I'm good with that. I am too. Same here. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to change the sidewalk at Billy Ridge Coaches. All in favor? All opposed? 4 to 0. Now, do we need to do anything to close out the deal there, or is it just... Well, you still have closeout documents. We you still yeah. have to go through a closeout yep. process, still, yep. but we don't have to do anything. No, I think, no, not till we get the audit done from the state and all that kind of stuff. I, 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 have a, I don't know if um, we need to have any type of a contractor agreement. We can work with Mansell about doing the work, yeah. and then it'll be a split payment to them. Yep. And just as a side note, we do design sewer lines, so if you do need a there you go. There you go. There you go. You could be a fire here. here. <laughs> My opinion is if he could give us just an estimate of what But how long of the line are we talking about? We're probably talking three. six hundred feet, I imagine. Oh, Sid, okay, so you're close. talking a couple manholes. Yeah. But yeah. but out of a man out of us I don't know what you have for a lift station. If it has a wet well that you yes, just tap into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you would tee in just before it. And then what grade that would be, and then to see if you could run you know, four tenths grade. I assume this. we're talking straight up to the south yeah. end of now, Fishers. Yes. What, yeah, what you might consider, the highways. You just throwing this out. I don't know if this is going to be something the city at large would pay for, or is it going to be a benefit district? Who's going to pay for the sewer? I guess we haven't got to that point. Because, you know, what we did in the past, at least I know years ago when we extended one, was that the customers that got on it paid pieces of it, and then if somebody else tied on, then that's right. your portion if, of it. If you do it as a benefit district, then there's a process you go through before you actually right. do it. And right. There'd be a petition, mm -hmm. something of that nature. Mm -hmm. But I was just going to suggest if you're going to have someone come in and survey some areas, they might catch that too while they're here. Yeah, it would be to service any business along the highway. You know, but but to do a benefit district, you'd have to get fifty. 51% of the people right. that would be benefited, right. or 51% of the area, uh, to sign right. a petition. Yeah, this then the, you could assess it against. Yeah, the inquiry would would entertain pricing. He would pay for the first portion because he has to go all the way over there anyway, and he owns all that land. Mm -hmm. He's going to back a ditch. And yeah, he would. The big thing is what we're going to do north of there. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. we're going to get around that. Right, you have to talk to Green, GNS Motor. But I mean, getting it to it. Because if you run it up that, if you run it up that back easement behind LJ and J, you run straight into their building. Oh, no, no. He, he wants to move it to where it would clear the back of his building. Oh, that's, out that far through the property yeah. behind. So you west, need to get a new Okay. Building. Yep, the west. Okay, part, along no. that west, the west stakes. Yeah. Well, then we would have to right. come back into right. the wet well because we'd be too shallow. Right, through the middle of that field. Yeah, we'd have to come back into the wet well. In order Put it to west of this round top. Well, it, it would it would be it would be uh, yeah, but along those west stakes, it would have to turn and drop back into the wet well to yeah. feed to pump up. See, because right. there wouldn't be enough drop there. Oh, well, because the wet well's east of there. See, no, no, we sighted. I mean, you stand at the back of this building. There's several. But you're talking about through the center of the property or the west end of the property, or no, from the, from your wet well about straight north, all the way to Eighth Street. Okay. Yeah, we can survey it. Sure. Yeah. 
Sure. Yeah. yeah, whatever the elevation of the existing line going into that wet well would probably be the elevation this line would come out. Yep. And you would, over 600 feet, have two foot of rise. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of identify what mm -hmm. 600 feet away, two foot of difference. But if we're going to go to 8th Street, it'd be more like nine to 900 to 1,000 feet. Mm -hmm. I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're talking four blocks, that's 1,200 feet. Six, seven, eight, about 900. Somewhere between 9 and 1,200 yeah, feet. Yeah, just something to see what it would cost. Okay. I wouldn't. Should we add that to our survey? Well, if you do it as a benefit district, then whoever's benefited from it would pay the cost. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and so you'd have to have a petition in hand to be able to assess them. You can always do a study, a feasibility study that you would pay for. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, the benefit district is the one that's responsible. Now, it could always be approved that the city shares in that benefit district cost if, if it's so accept. So it would be dirty when they write the petition and be circulated. Bob had as far as sewer, too, yeah. before we making decisions on that. Yeah. That would be best. Okay. If you had a, a little map showing me where you're mm -hmm. looking at doing it, I could come up with a cost estimate that mm -hmm. you could utilize if right. someone wants to circulate a petition. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that before we leave. Okay, John, what are you doing? Well, any discussion regarding the utility is exempt from open records only if it's discussion related to security measures. But again, if this is discussion related to the tr a trade secret of a corporation, which, you know, if this, is, if this is a number on a piece of paper, that's different than some kind of document or discussion related to how that number is calculated. If it's related to how that number is calculated because it's a formula or whatever, that's a trade secret. That's a trade secret of a corporation. If it's just an offer we're willing to sell you this at this price, that's not a trade secret. I also don't see that any kind of contract related to purchase of any any power. I mean that's that's still open subject to open records. I mean it, again the only thing utility related that is not subject to open records would be information uh, that we've talked about before about who your customers are, where they reside, and that kind of stuff. That's that's closed under federal law. And then anything related to uh, security measures, and we've had that issue before, is closed. I mean, I, I guess without knowing any more information, that's kind of the background. I'll give you So what you're saying is we can't talk about it in executive session. Okay. Knowing what I know, I guess you're correct. I mean, I, I don't know. And maybe Jeff might go outside real quick. I, I just, you know, I'll let you look at this. I mean, you're welcome to look at it. But I just know that Aaron asked me not to disclose this to the public. I, I until, realize that. Until after the contracts go out the first of the month. And after that, then it's anybody's ball game. But this has been offered exclusive to five cities. Um, and I just I, I won't betray his trust. I not for not for five hundred kilowatts. I just won't do it. You know, I, I deal with this man monthly and uh, and what and what cities do on the wholesale end may be a matter of public record, but it's mostly private. And it's done that way for profit just like anything else. And uh, if I can't do this in an executive session, then I, I, I won't. I mean, you're welcome. I work for you. It's there. You can do whatever you want to. But, you know, I've been asked by a man not to disclose it. And Greg and Greg uh, and I have talked about this. We sat for three hours the other day in Hayes and talked about it. Greg thought it was a good deal. Um, I think it's a good deal, but I just won't disclose it in public. I just won't do it. You can't pass that out, then. No. So no. I would take it off the table. Well, we, we, the council can't make a decision without the That's decision. That's right, they can't. So, so really, Aaron asking you to do that, he, he really can't ask you to do that because it is a public information. It, I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. This yeah. is not public information to anybody. 
except for until after the first of the until month. after the first of the month. Yeah, yeah. We I would imagine November, November first. And if you yeah. they got to know by Friday, they got to know by Friday. That's the yeah. Thing. That's the thing. Yeah, I would imagine they're giving a better price to the cities it's, in there. It's, I will tell you this: that it's a more lucrative part price than what you pay right now. And it's a 20-year contract. And even on the 20th year, it's a better contract price than what you're getting right now. It actually says by the end of next week. But that's still not the first. That's what his email said. Yeah, until the end of the next week. I mean, I can discuss, possible, I can discuss this with Greg and see what he says. but Because he and I sat there and, and, and went through this. So well, we, If it's the end of next week, you can always get an opinion from the League of Kansas Municipalities yeah. and schedule a special session. Yeah. 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 Why don't yeah. we do that? Yeah. That's yeah. something yeah. Right. I just, I can't, I can't. I mean, uh, unfortunately, the, the court decisions on this kind of stuff is this thick, and right. I don't yeah. care right. all the court decisions yeah. are out with right. I understand. Okay. Okay. We have a motion for adjournment. Um, Ooh, good question. Um, These names have to go to Bobby. Okay. I mean, so, I, yeah. I, I was I, hoping he would be here. So. Yeah. So I mean, I can. I'll be more than happy to bring them up to Bobby. I guess then, if we have a special meeting, and then if we have a special meeting, too. we can we can talk about it then if you want to too. Okay. But I gotta right. I gotta let Bobby know first because he ultimately makes the yeah. he ultimately makes the decision. Yeah, I right. mean, you guys yeah, recommend, you yeah. but he's the one that has to say yes or no. Okay. He's the one that makes the recommendation. Yeah. And to you guys. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I'll be more than happy to call him. Okay. I appreciate that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? All opposed.